Hey there, and welcome to Weirdly OCD, my channel that focuses on mainly cleaning and organization. Um, but once in a while, I will throw in a, a video like this pertaining to real life situations um, and just things I may be dealing with at the time. Uh, first off, let me say that I'm sorry about the dark lighting. Um, it's about 5.30, so the sun is kind of going down. And uh, I'm going to try and talk as fast as I possibly can um, so it doesn't get darker and darker and darker in the room. And I know someone's probably going to be thinking, well, just turn on the light in the room. I really don't want to. I don't really feel like getting up and going over there and turning on the light. So anyway, that'll also give me an excuse to make this video somewhat short. So anyway, I just want to talk to you about the reality of paycheck to paycheck debt. Um, I currently live in a one income household with me and my fiance and I am totally fine with that. That's fine. Um, uh, so I get paid every other week. Um, I will not, I'm not going to disclose how much I make every other week. It just is simply one. I don't think that's anybody's business period. And two, I do have people uh, who I work with that watch these videos and I just don't want to disclose how much I make. But anyway, so I will tell you that we pretty much live paycheck to paycheck. Um, after all the bills are paid, um, after I get paid, we usually have about, <clears throat> excuse me, we usually have about 300 maybe a little over 300 maybe like 320 325 left over um which i know sounds like a lot of extra money for two weeks but in all reality it isn't um first of all i fill up the car tank the car tank wow that sounds weird i fill up the gas tank of the car <laughs> Um, that's usually between $25 and $35, depending on the price of gas, of course. Um, and then any groceries we may need to buy for those two weeks. So let's say there's about, oh, $50 to $60, maybe even more, maybe up close to $100. Excuse me. I don't know why. I've got, like, burps and all these weird things tonight I don't know anyway getting off topic um and then you know of course things we may need for the house like paper towels toiletries personal care items um things that may break that we need to replace um things that we still even after being in our house for a year and a half don't have that we never thought we would need until we needed it um haircuts and then, of course, you know, a little entertainment here and there. We can't be shut in 24-7. So, you know, once you factor all that in, um, we don't have a whole lot left over before I get paid again. Um, so, at times, it is a real struggle. And sadly, from my point of view, and that could be because of the area, the city that I live in, I feel like this is somewhat the norm. Um, now I know that there are people who either make a decent amount more than I do um, or put up a damn good front on Facebook because, uh, you know, it seems just like there are uh, uh, people on there who like go out all the time and stuff like that. And I know you don't need to have money to go out and have fun. You can go to a friend's house and not have a penny to your name, you know, but, um, but we don't really go out a whole lot. Um, we've been trying not to really eat out as much as we did before, which we haven't, didn't really before anyway, a lot. Um, but anyway, so there isn't a whole lot of money left over before I get paid again. Um, and then there have been a couple times where I've had to go get cash payday loans. And if you can avoid it, it is the absolute last thing I would 
ever recommend to somebody because you know you go in there and you think oh I'm just gonna borrow a hundred dollars and it's not due for another two weeks when I get paid again and I'll have it you know oh they're only charging me a fifteen dollar fee so I really owe them altogether a hundred and fifteen oh yeah I'll have it no big deal you know we need it we need it now um, and I'll have it later well let me tell you <laughs> that's not reality um, you may go get your payday loan now you have that extra hundred dollars or whatever you loaned from the payday company and go use it on whatever it is you need to use it on and then comes time to pay it back you pay it back and then you go oh well this came up or this still needs paid or oh my gosh this needs paid that I completely forgot about and you reloan that same amount again so yeah you paid them back but you just took the same amount out and now you're out um, of pocket the finance charge or the fee or whatever they're charging you for that money so then you think okay no big deal in two weeks I'll just pay it back like I originally planned this time mm -mm. nope and then you find yourself going to another cash loan place to help pay the previous cash loan place and as you can see we're starting to get into a bigger and bigger snowball effect a bigger hole um, and yeah so unfortunately I've had to resort to that a couple of times uh, you know it's not a big deal well it is a big deal but I mean uh, I don't know where I was going with that but I feel like I feel like a lot of people in my city and even in the United States here are in the exact same situation that I am and I will say that a lot of people have it a lot worse than I do you know a lot of people are on a, a one income household but they may have like three or four kids so there's food for the kids toiletries and personal hygiene for all the kids clothing for the kids entertainment because you can't expect you know your kids to you know I don't know I'm not a parent but you can't really expect them to I don't know be in the house all day uh, you know haircuts for each kid things like that I don't know anyway um, I will say that it definitely is hard and I am we are living pretty much paycheck to paycheck but you know we make the best of it you know we do entertain ourselves we find things to do around the house or with friends when they come over we hang out whatever and like I said um, and you know I will admit there have been situations where I've had to decline hanging out with friends just because I either a didn't have the extra money to hang out with them because we were gonna go somewhere or something and then I didn't have the money uh, when it came time to hang out or B, I did have some extra money, but I really didn't want to spend it because if God forbid something were to come up, now I don't have that money because I spent it. But anyway, um, you know, cash loan places are supposed to be for a temporary saving grace, if you will. There have been times where it's been more temporary for me than it probably should have been. Uh, and I'm sure that the couple times that I've used cash loan places, I've probably paid them back three or four times more than what I initially loaned simply because of reborrowing and adding more to the next borrow and the finance charge that you pay each time that you don't get back. 
um, for them to stay off your back and not take the whole thing out of your account so you don't go into a negative balance and then get overdraw fees because I've been in that situation before as well and it is not fun. But anyway, I guess I'm really not 100% sure what the point of this video is, but I guess what I'm trying to say is I understand and I live the struggles of living paycheck to paycheck. Yes, I make a decent amount of money, uh, but you know, when you factor in the realities of life, your bills, things you don't think of, things you run out of that you need to replenish, food, all that kind of stuff. It just really stinks that when it comes down to it, you don't really have that much left over. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. You do what you need to do, and you get through it, and tomorrow is a new day. But anyway, um, now that I think about everything I've said in this video, I'm not too sure. Really, if I came across with some type of point or if I'm just really ranting or venting about money struggles. But, um, you know, and I'm not trying to sound like a charity case or pity case or anything like that. You know, I live in a very nice house in a nice neighborhood. I mean, my house is no like $100,000 or anything, but, you know, it's it's a nice house, nice neighborhood. Um you know, we have nice things, um, but most of the things in our house are not brand new. Most of them have been purchased from garage sales, thrift stores, um, Habitat for Humanity Restore stores, um, given to us by friends or family, things like that. But um, anyway, just to wrap it up, I know the struggles of living paycheck to paycheck, having to put bills on credit cards that you don't want to put on the credit card because you don't want your balance to go up any more than it already is, or the reality of having a credit card maxed out and not being able to use it for that surprise bill, or having to go to that cash loan place and get money because, oh crap, something came up that you weren't expecting. But anyway, we'll end on a high note, which is I just got my review the other day at work and I was told that I am getting a raise. I don't know what that raise is yet. Uh, hopefully I will find out tomorrow, which is Monday at work. But anyway, if this video made absolutely no sense to you, I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, well, like I said, I think it's more venting or ranting or anything. It's just frustrating when, you know, you see people, and I know you shouldn't live your life um, up to the standards of other people or things like that. Um, but it is kind of saddening and frustrating if, you know, you see these people having a great time and they're out and about with friends and hanging out and going and having dinners and uh, stuff like that. And I know a lot of people online, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of people get on, put on you know, a good face and only want to show happy times and you don't really know the true st struggles of everybody, even sometimes the closest people in your life. But, um, you know, you do what you do to get by. And, yeah. Um, I mean, I know I'm kind of still going on, I'm sorry, but... I just thought of something else that, you know, we have a coin jar um, and I don't really pay a lot of stuff in cash only because I'm just so used to swiping my debit card, which, uh, but when I do pay cash and get change back, we do have a coin jar that we put money into. There have been times where I've went and cashed $5 in change just so I could get us something to eat. It's been that bad a couple of times, not any time recently or anything like that, but a couple of years ago, it was, probably like three years ago, but um, it's gotten that bad before, but you know, we've moved up 
Um, you know, I have, when we were doing that, you know, I have a much better job now. I have a much better position, much better pay. Um, but there are still times of struggles. But anyway, that's the end of this video. I don't want to make it super long. It's already after 15 minutes long. But I just wanted to share my kind of, I guess, story in the whole paycheck to paycheck thing. I do it. I know tons of other people who do it. Maybe not personally, but in general, I know there are people out here who do it. And uh, it's hard and it's frustrating. And sometimes it is depressing, but you get through life, you do what you need to do. And yeah, <laughs> but anyway, that's it for today's video. Um, if I bored you, I'm sorry. I am going to be working on some more organization and cleaning videos this coming week. So please don't leave. I am going to make them. I just wanted to get this kind of off my chest. But anyway, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.